The risk premium. The risk premium is simply the additional compensation or return that an investor requires for taking on risk. Imagine you loan money to the U.S. government. You're confident that they'll pay you back because the government can print money. There's really very little chance of default. And we call that the risk-free rate from the government. But what if you loan money to someone who may default? If I required a 4% return from the government, I might require a 5% return from IBM. And that extra 1% is the risk premium. It's the extra compensation you require to take on risk. If I loaned money to a younger, riskier company with fewer customers and fewer products, maybe I'd need 20%. So the risk premium there would be 16% above that treasury. The risk premium can tell us about a lot of different types of risk. The default risk, the currency risk, the liquidity risk, the prepayment risk. The risk premium also tells us about market sentiment. When investors are scared, you're going to see risk premiums increase. Investors will need a lot of extra compensation to take risk. The spread or the difference between the treasury and the corporate bonds will increase and stock prices will go down. That's the risk premium.